Here we go, 814. A lot different than last week, man. We're happy for that. Dr. Brent Wallace joins us now, Chief Medical Officer, People's Health. How you doing, Dr. B? Hey, Tommy, I'm doing good. How about you? I'm okay. How'd you fare with Francine, okay? We did okay. Yeah, the yard was a bit of a mess, but we got it all cleaned up. Yep, right there with you. September, Healthy Aging Month, Americans Today. Living longer, healthier lives than ever before. Dr. B is here with People's Health to share seven tips for keeping your mind and your body healthy with age. And I guess, Doc, first we got to talk about what is healthy aging. Yeah, it's a really important topic because, as you know, we all get there eventually. We're all aging every day. And really healthy aging just means that you're you're thinking about and you're taking care of your physical, your mental, and your brain health. And that way you can really find a way as you get older to stay independent and really enjoy a high quality of life as you get older. It's kind of like everybody's concerned about their 401k, but it's like the same thing with your health. Okay, you save it all, but what are you going to do with it when you finally get it, right? Now that you have these extra 10, 15, 20 years, whatever? Yeah, definitely. You got to be thinking about this because, like I said, you're all going to get there eventually. You want to make sure you get there in a good, in a good condition. How can uh, how do you talk to your doctor about healthy aging? Well, your doctor is critically important, and that is who you should be talking to about this. In a lot of instances, they're they're really one of your most important asset when it comes to healthy aging. So you want to make sure that you you find and really build a trusting relationship with your doctors, and that includes primary care physicians, um, but also uh, your dentist, your eye doctor, and if you're a woman, a gynecologist often, and men often a, a urologist as well. But it's really important in particular, and I'm not just saying this because I am one, but, but to get to know your primary care provider. Well, why is that so important, Doc, about the primary care provider? So your, your primary care provider, I say this all the time, they're kind of the captain of the ship, and they really check your overall health, and they help you stay up to date on things like preventative care. They make sure you're getting your vaccines and your screenings, a lot of those services that you need over time to really prevent health conditions from developing or to catch them early on so that you can develop a treatment plan and and really make sure you've got a plan to go forward. And your primary care provider should also be working with you on those healthy lifestyle choices that you need to make because that's going to be super key to aging well. All right, let's get to your tips for healthy aging. What's tip number one? Yeah, so this is really important. You've got to keep your mind active. It's like we always say, if, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So when you don't learn new things for long stretches of time, your brain actually slows down. So you've got to really continually engage your brain with new and challenging activities. And you can do a lot of different things. You can read, you can paint, um, puzzles. A lot of people do Sudoku and, and games like that. Um, even learning a new language. The key is really to choose a variety of activities and to do them frequently because you know, sitting on the couch and watching TV does not really stimulate your mind. It's got to be that learning activity that, that you find something you really enjoy to do. Keep your mind active. What about tip number two? Yeah, so we say this all the time for a lot of reasons, but exercising regularly is really key to aging well. And exercising can increase your energy levels, but it also can keep your bones and joints strong. It can keep your heart strong, which is really critical as you get older. And it can actually lower your risk of a lot of chronic medical problems, things like diabetes and stroke and heart disease that a lot of people start to develop as they get older. So you want to talk to your doctor about the activities that are best for you and, and work towards exercising. We always say about 150 minutes a week, 30 minutes, five times a day. But, but don't overdo it. As you get older, you have to know your limitations. So talk to your doctor about what's the, the best exercise plan for you. And you got to be goal-focused. You're not trying to train for the Olympics. You're just trying to keep yourself active and healthy. Exactly, exactly. Don't overdo it. Speaking of health, I guess you got to eat healthy foods as well. 
Yeah, this is absolutely critical, you know, to all disease states. But really, as you're as you're aging, it becomes very important that you have a really balanced diet because that's the fuel that your brain needs. It you know to learn, to stay active, to stay healthy, and um, it can you know good healthy eating habits can also lower the risk for those chronic health conditions, things like diabetes and heart disease. And so, what we really recommend is we recommend a, a varied diet. You want to make sure you. You've got plenty of whole grain foods, uh, fruits and vegetables, low low fat dairy products are important, and then lean meats or uh, plant based proteins are very important. And sugar, stay away from it as much as you can. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we say this too: limit your salt, limit your sugar, and those saturated fats. That's all those dessert, salty snacks, things that people kind of turn to. But you want to look for healthier alternatives. Fried processed foods, not a good idea. We're talking to Dr. B, Dr. Brent Wallace, about healthy aging. September is Healthy Aging Month. He's got some tips for us so far. We've been through keep your mind active, exercise regularly, eat healthy foods, and when we come back, we'll pick it up. 820 Traffic Now, WWL. 824 and a half. Tommy Tucker, WWL, back with our friend, Dr. Brent Wallace, Dr. B, Chief Medical Officer of the Five Star People's Health Program. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. But we're talking about ways to age healthy, healthy aging, if you will. Dr. B has already told us about keeping your mind active, exercising regularly, eating healthy. What we got next, Doc? Tip number four. Yeah, so sleep is really important, and people forget about this, but everybody knows what it feels like when you have a bad night of sleep the next day. If you get good sleep, it's really going to help you keep your mind and your body healthy and, and keep you active. Uh, and I guess your doctor can help you about that, If it, it, it tell you about how much sleep you need, or how do you know how much is enough? Yeah, yeah, your your sleep need changes throughout your life, and it does decrease as you get older, but we always recommend at least seven hours of sleep a night for adults. And if you have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, that could be a medical problem. So make sure you talk to your doctor about that. They can probably help. I get a full 19 hours a day. <laughs> that would be wonderful. <laughs> tip, tip number five is a big one. Go ahead. Yeah, this is a huge one. Quit smoking. We cannot say this enough. It it just lowers your risk of cancer and lung disease and heart disease. And really, smoking is linked to almost every disease that people experience. So if you are currently smoking, now is the time to stop. You've got to talk to your doctor about it because we've got a lot of resources that we can use to try to help you quit. And I, we can't talk about any of this without mentioning stress, right? Yeah, stress is really important. You've got to learn how to control the stress. Stress is its a natural part of life. It keeps us active at times. It does keep our, our minds racing sometimes. But your bodies are really only designed to handle stress in small doses. If you've got consistent stress without re relaxation, that is bad for you. It can increase your uh, blood pressure. It can actually lead to a lot of chronic medical problems and actually make it difficult for you to control any medical problems you have. And again, a great option for managing stress is going to be exercise. So you get a two for one there. And, and the other one is loneliness and, and um, staying connected because I think that can lead to stress a lot of times, can it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, isolation is very dangerous. It can um, actually accelerate conditions like dementia. Um, it, it definitely can increase your stress. And so you want to make sure that you actively take time to connect with other people. And this can become difficult as you get older, especially if you've lost, uh, you know, friends and loved ones that you spend a lot of time with. So you want to reach out to your family. You want to try to make new friends and do little things. Join a club, um, something at your local library, or maybe volunteer because that's going to keep you active and engaging with others. So that's going to help you, you know, stay mentally sharp as well. Take a yoga class, take a Thai, tai chi class, then you're socializing, you're, you're managing your stress, you're doing a lot of different things at one time, plus you're moving around, you've got some exercise combined in there as well. Yep, perfect, perfect activity to do. You knock a couple of them off the list right there. Let's talk about, doctor, before we wrap it up, about why people really should look forward to getting older, and especially when you consider the alternative. Yeah, it, it should not be considered something bad. You know, all of us get older. It's just a fact of life. And you actually can really feel 
happier as you age. You know, your brain changes and continues to develop throughout your life. And, and that broadened perspective that you develop as you get older can really help you solve problems better, help you deal with life's issues better. Um, you know, it really, if you retire in particular or partially retire, think about all of the extra time that you have to devote to your interests and passions. And so there can be a lot of really positive things come out of aging. So don't look at it as a bad thing. It's actually a normal evolution in life and really something you know that a lot of people should be looking forward to. Uh, final thoughts, Doc? Yeah, it's the big thing is it's never too early or too late to make those healthy lifestyle changes. You know, you've got to figure out how you are going to age, and it's really up to you to make sure that you're aging in a healthy way. So make health your priority when you're younger because you don't want to be in a situation when you get older where you really can't do what you want to do. So that's the most important thing. You know, I'll tell a story again. I was giving away a car at a casino years ago, and a guy was not that old and a rascal. He looked up at me and he said, don't ever lose your legs, and, man, that stuck with me. Let's talk about people's health. I mentioned the five-star nature of that, Dr. B. Yeah, yeah. We're, we've been a five-star plan for the past three years, which is uh, just a recognition from the government that we really provide excellent uh, health care to all of our members. So we're very proud of that. And that five-star also changes your options when it comes to enrolling, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It, it allows you to enroll in plans outside of the open enrollment period. So you've got a lot of options. Give us a call, and we can talk those through with you. And you can find out all about it. Well, well Dr. B., I know you're busy. Thanks for taking the time with us. Have a great weekend, and pet those boxes for me, all right? <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Talk to you soon. You bet. You can find out more about People's Health by going to peopleshealth.com. You can call them at 1-800-978-9765. You can also visit the People's Health Medicare Center in Metairie. That's at 3017 Vets next to Party City. Appointments are recommended, but walk-ins are welcome. Just remember this, peopleshealth.com. When we come back, we're going to talk about Francine and all the rain that's been falling and heavy storms producing more rain, more intense amounts. Right now, it's time for WWL First News. For that, we go to Chris Miller.